All right, today we're going to practice once again doing uh, the, the math problems that we've been practicing using the T-chart and the guess and check method. So we start out, and our problem says that we have 40 coins. And we know that the only coins in there, in that pocket, are quarters and nickels. We don't know how many quarters, and we don't know how many nickels, but we know that there are 40 coins and their quarters are nickels. And we know that the total amount of those coins is $3.80. Our job is then to find out how many of those coins are quarters and how many of those coins are nickels. We first have to start by making guesses, and then with each guess, we should be able to make a second guess closer based on what we get as an answer. We found that a chart is very helpful for this. So we do quarters, nickels, and total. We start by making a guess. I know that $3.80 isn't a lot of money, and I like to do my quarters and make the math as easy as possible, so I try to do it in fours when I make my initial guess. So I'm going to start with eight quarters. Don't know if that's right or wrong, but we're going to figure, we're going to start with that. Now, how many nickels are left if I had eight quarters and I need 40? Well, I would do 40 minus eight. 10 minus eight is two, three, 32. That's the last time I'm going to do that math because the rest of it I'm going to do in my head is 32. So I'm going to have 32 nickels. That. Let me double check, 32 and 8 more, yep, that's 40. So I have a total of 40 coins now. But let's figure out how much money that would be. Eight quarters, if I count by fours, or doing the drawing that I like to do, quarter, 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 draw a dollar bill around those four, quarter, 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 draw a dollar bill around those four, it's two dollars. 32 nickels is, is a little bit harder to figure out, but all you do is do 32 times 5. 32 times 5. Easy schmeasy math. 5 times 2 is 10. 0, 1. 5 times 3 is 15 with the extra 1. 160, which in, would be 160 cents or $1.60. Now I add up two dollars and a dollar sixty, and I get three dollars and sixty cents. Whoa! Good guess to start with, right? It's a little bit too small though, so I need to go higher. If I want more money, then I do more quarters. Okay. Now let's say I do ten quarters. Okay. Ten quarters. That means I'm going to need 40 minus 10 is 30 nickels. Do my math. 10 quarters. Well, here was 8. If I add 2 more, that's going to be 250. 30 nickels. 30 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 3 is a, it's a dollar fifty. I add up 250 and 150. Well, the 2 and the 1, that's going to be 3. The 50 and the 50 is going to be 4. Oh, that's $4. A little bit too much. So now I know it's between those two. So I know it's going to be between 8 quarters and 10 quarters. Well, that makes my next guess pretty easy. What's between 8 and 10? 9. 9. But we still have to check it. Okay? Take one of those away. Now I've got two dollars and twenty-five cents. And then I do if I have nine there, then I'm gonna have thirty-one nickels. If I had thirty and it was a dollar fifty, I had one more nickel. That's gonna be a dollar fifty-five. So now I do 225 plus 1.55, 0, 1, 8, dot 380. 
and that is my answer. I got the right one after three guesses. Now, as you can see, for each math problem, I'm doing, for each guess, I'm doing lots of math problems. So in order to answer this one problem, I may end up doing 30 math problems. I did at least 15 or 20 just for this one, and I got the answer pretty quickly. <coughs> Making good guesses and careful checking will make sure that um, you do just the right amount of work that you need. Good luck. Have fun doing these at home. Okay, like Push the button.